a week after Hurricane Ian tore through Florida's southwest coast. Hundreds of thousands of people are still without power. The death toll has risen to 104, and 54 of those deaths are from Lee County. Tonight, first responders and the U.S. Coast Guard continue their rescue efforts, trying to get to those stranded survivors. NBC6 reporter Jamie Garola has been with local first responders from Miami-Dade who are on the ground rescuing people. He joins us live now from Fort Myers with a look. Jamie. Yeah, here in Fort Myers Beach, it is completely leveled. The damage is impressive, but so is the recovery effort. We're here with South Florida Task Force 2. Uh, they make up a whole bunch of different agencies in South Florida, like Miami Fire and Margate Fire. They all come here. They've been here since day one, since Hurricane Ian made landfall, and they have been doing the very hard work of helping this place rebuild and recover. This afternoon, rescue crews had to saw open a trailer that fell into the water. An HR dog, or human remains dog, alerted them to the possibility of a body inside. It's a daunting task for the men and women of Florida Task Force 2. They've been looking for bodies and survivors since Ian made landfall last week. Fortunately, the trailer was empty. I'm watching some, some of this devastation kind of uh, humbles a lot of uh, um, the responders that come out here. Uh, just the power of Mother Nature. It is amazing. And then being able to be the responders that come out and give uh, people a second chance of life, being able to rescue them, pull them from a, a structure, um, you know, which is their home, which is their livelihood, um, it is very rewarding. Storm surge is being blamed for wiping out Fort Myers Beach. Nearly 80% of the structures are gone. Even homes inland ripped from the ground. Like this couple's home, they rode out the storm. What are we doing now? We're FEMA. How long have you lived here? Four years. And uh, obviously compared to just even last week, what is, describe what it looks like today. It's not here. There's nothing. This place is gone. Moms, Heavenly Biscuits, Shamrock Inn, anything first floor is gone. The whole island. Florida Task Force 2 helping residents like this. The unit is made up of fire departments from South Florida. Their first 48 hours here, critical assisting and making contact with more than 1,000 people. Uh, the other thing that um, we kind of are uh, looking for are any uh, mementos and stuff like that that owners may have. All right, now the estimated that the bare minimum amount of structural damage here is estimated to be at $60 billion. Some people say it could take up to a decade to rebuild this area, this part of Southwest Florida. Of course, the people that we've talked to here who rode out the storm, who don't even want to leave this island say, don't count on that. This place will be back much better and sooner than you might think. We're live tonight in Southwest Florida, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.